put it in a nutshell, only in the United States has health care and the insurance of health care been treated uh, like a business. Uh, where investors and investor-owned enterprises uh, become a very important factor in delivering the service, only in the United States. More recently, some other countries are beginning to try to copy us, and entrepreneurs are beginning in other countries to say, well, if there's money to be made in health care as it is in the United States, why can't we do the same here in our country? But for the most part, we are alone in the extent to which health care has become uh, a, a, an investor-owned enterprise. Uh, I, I want to pursue that extensively, but before I do, other than, is there any reason other than the fact that foreign investors see money to be made in their countries doing what investors in America do? Is, aside from that, is there any other reason why other countries would want to copy uh, a system which, from what I understand, is widely considered a failure? Uh, well, uh, you would think the answer is no, but, the, but in fact, what is being propagated is a, is a lie, is a, is a lot of propaganda, is a lot of PR. The people who make money from delivering health care or from insuring health care, who profit as investors in these fields, are telling these other countries, as they claim in the United States, that it's cheaper and more efficient. It's better for the public to have these things uh, privately uh, delivered uh, than uh, delivered as part of a social public system. It's not true. The evidence is strongly against that claim, but that's what they claim, and that's what you read in many uh, of the media here in the United States. Uh, now, to pr pursue that line just for a moment, uh, the claim is that we do it faster, better, cheaper. Uh, how how is that? How can that claim stand in in the face of uh, a number of what I take it are facts? Number one, uh, don't you take the position, and aren't you correct, that the costs of uh, uh, health insurance and costs of medicine and the trends in the costs have been increasing dramatically for the last 30 years without any corresponding benefit? Yes. Um, what is the burden on uh, c uh, government and uh, companies and individuals of health insurance, and what percentage of our population has it? Well, um, about 50 million people in the United States are now without any health insurance at all, and probably at least an equal number don't have enough insurance so that they are threatened all the time by financial disaster if they should become seriously ill. And uh, the, uh, the uh, evidence that uh, health, insurance, health insurers in the United States are efficient uh, simply is non-existent. The, the facts are that on average, private for-profit insurance plans take out of the premium that we pay them uh, on average, about 20 percent, some as many as much as 30 percent, a few as little as 15 percent of the premium for their own profits and their own business expenses and overhead before they pay any money to uh, health care providers, to doctors and hospitals. And as, as far as anyone can see, there's nothing of comparable value that you get for that 20 or 25 percent of the premium which they take away. Furthermore, their billing and collecting practices impose on the providers, on the hospitals, on the doctors, an additional overhead cost. So when you add it all up, we're uh, paying hundreds of billions of dollars of uh, overhead cost to because of private insurers. And we don't get anything of anywhere near comparable value in return.
This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.